This series is rated M for Mature, so no kids! I went looking for health, I found the exact opposite. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We, uh... What, so we're going to meet our uncle? There's nothing else to do on the way? Uh, package... Go, yeah, gotta go to clinic. Oh, get, but it is... That's that's the uncle... Oh, he's no, all the way yeah, up top. Yeah, he's up at the top. So we'll get an alternator, go get cured. Oh, shit, do you want to just go get... Well, you know what? You should probably go to Uncle Dave first. You sure? Well, because at the end of the day, you're going to want to just run. You're going to want to be close. So why don't you go to Uncle but Dave I can, first? I can go through the... Oh, actually, no. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, take that right road. <laughs> Let's go up to Uncle Dave at the top and then work our way down. All right. Just, all to, right. just to make it easy once the day has ended. Because if you can avoid a fight and just run away and not have to worry about your wanted level... All right, well, apologies, folks. This is going to be a long walk. I know. God, if only they had a better run in this game. Everything's so slow. Oh, nice. God, I'd love some pizza. I know. I can't have pizza. Sorry, do you have med kits? Yeah, I'm still doing the, the, no, the low-carb thing, so I can't have pizza. I haven't had pizza in... Like four months, I can't even. Remember. Oh wait, yes, I did. That was my first. I, yeah, after three months of doing the diet, I had one cheat meal, and it was pizza because there's a place down by my dad's house when we went there that I just loved too much. Yeah, I was like, all right, that'll be my first. See, cheat I haven't, thing. I haven't treated it like cheat meals or anything like that. It's just like eh, if I'm in the mood for something. So I've been yeah. like pretty well, luckily, good. You've, you've, you get a lot more physical activity. Yeah, I've been pretty good with everything, but pizza is one that I've like. <laughs> I, I, I do miss it. Yeah, I don't so much mind. You know what I don't miss? I do miss bready stuff like pizza or, you know, bread. But I, what I don't miss, surprisingly, and it reminds me of when I kick soda, when I'm like, I don't want soda anymore. That's strange. Pasta. I haven't been like, I gotta eat pasta immediately. Mac and cheese and everything. Like, see, I, I, love I do it. love pasta. I see. I, I haven't do lost too. cravings for anything. Like, I still, I still love to have. A big sloppy bowl of pasta. I would still love to have. Uh, I would still love it. Lots but, of soda, and, but I don't feel actually, tempted. Soda I've been back on. I don't feel tempted by it. Like pizza, when I think of it, I'm like, oh, I want that. But not nothing pasta. It's strange. Good thing there's enough military around. <laughs> yeah, this is just out of hand. There's a lot of collateral damage right there. Oh, over here too. Hey, go 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 go. Compound, perfect. You know what, real quick, let's put that fan back in the window because it's starting you know, to get a little balmy in You're here. right. Why is it so warm? I know, tomorrow's supposed this to get to like 70 something, but. Oh, okay. Much better. It did get warm in here. That's so weird. Yeah. This room, because I turn everything off when I leave, when I get back after a day yeah. at work, this room is like a fucking oven. But in the winter, it also gets ice cold. That's got to be nice for you. Oh, yeah. All right, where are we at? We're almost halfway there. We'll go past Lucky Ganesh. Actually, I'll go past straight. the clinic. Why don't I get cured first? Because it's on the way. It's up to you. Look, I can go this way and go straight up. True. Go for it. And then you just got to go back to the junkyard at the end. That's fine. Yeah, let's go get that cure. I mean, I really could just bang these. I'm right here. I know, but then you got such a long run back to the at the end. Oh wait, no. The, the Wait a minute. Last time, it didn't do this the first few times. The last for Thursday. Oh, it, fell, it flashed me back and to the. You know what? Yeah, do it. The, you're right. Yeah. I forgot that uh, Thursday did it that way. So hopefully it continues. I think they all do. Yeah, I don't think you ever have to get back to the house. But I think the first day, I mean, I, I'm probably just thinking of the first day, or I, yeah, I might have just forgotten. All right, so we'll go get the alternator first. Right. Uh, which. I'm guessing I'm going the right way. I guessed Man, wrong. Stop smoking this crack. Cat! Oh shit, I accidentally smoked some crack! That was my last crack! Oh no! And right before. Oh, health pipes for Oh, sale. they got some. I bet you'll find a bunch in the back. Hey! Hmm. I'm sorry, but you need more money. Fuck you. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you need more money. Fuck you. Sledgehammer? Where's these health health pipes? 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait. Oh, you throw it? Yeah. Oh. Now, wait a minute. These people aren't giving you any trouble. They wouldn't sell me my health pipes. I call that trouble. Where are you supposed to get? Did you get cured? No. Yeah, I this, is, this had nothing to do with that, Russ. Oh, I thought you were at the... I thought you were at the clinic. No, they said there were health pipes for sale. I had just smoked the last of my crack. I wanted more crack. They said I couldn't have the crack because I didn't have money, so I gave them a sledgehammer. Maybe you just weren't speaking their language. I I started... I, I had to learn their language. That language was sledgehammer. It sounds like they understood me loud and clear at that <laughs> point. They understood me so well that their heads blew up. They just... Ah! What? Oh! They don't like you. They're rednecks. The rednecks don't like you. On a golf course? Yeah, rednecks golf. No. The hell you say? Uh, yeah. You know. Name me one redneck that golfs. That's what I thought. No, I'm. Hang on. I'm gonna do a little research. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You research that and you get back to me. If you find me one redneck that golfs, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Say, Chad, how, how would you feel later this year about going to the Rocky King and Jeff Foxworthy 2019 Charity Celebrity Golf Tournament? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's my first thought. Jeff Foxworthy, the ultimate redneck, <laughs> holds a golf tournament. And he is one of the people Of course he does. He's not a real redneck. Is he not, though? I, I mean, he's so. he's more like he graduated to king of rednecks. Years he's, ago. He's like, a, he's like an executive redneck. I don't... He's, he's, you know, too, he's too highfalutin. I never really gave him the benefit of the doubt when I was a kid. Like, I didn't want to hear you might be a redneck jokes. But you know what? I'm he's curious. Okay. You might be a redneck. If you golf. See? <laughs> <laughs> jokes. All right. Uh, oh, oh, I'm at the junkyard. Redneck jokes. He has a thing on his own website that's all redneck jokes. I need an alternator for an 87 to fuck you. But That'll be 500 bucks. Russ, well, we've been painted into a corner. Look at that. This, this feels like a setup. Right? No. Right? Sure, it's fine. Okay. All right, so, uh, uh oh, dogs! Oh, oh! I didn't mean to do. What happened? <laughs> you are. They are not happy with you. Oh, and you got no. You have no crack. Ah, fire dog! <laughs> What's the hounds uh, at the gates of Hades? <laughs> Cerberus! <laughs> Cerberus! All right, good. The dog's on fire. All right, they seem to be leaving you alone while they're. Well, yeah, he's, he's got other things on his mind. He just set his owner on fire. Oh, is he? Uh... All right, Chad. Uh... Russ, oh, go for it. I don't think that's how it's gonna work. For some reason. Oh, he's oh he's right there. Oh, good idea. Yep, oh, yep. shit. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I glanced off his head. Nope. Sorry. Oh! Oh, that's why you got set on fire before. Okay. Ah! Piss on yourself! <sighs> Alright, Chad, you ready crap. for a redneck joke? Good stuff. This is straight from JeffFoxworthy.com. You might be a redneck if stock market crashes, it doesn't affect you one bit. That's the first one that came up. That's. I don't see, I guess, the joke in it. I don't. I don't either. I guess because rednecks couldn't yes. possibly understand the intricacies. <laughs> this is better. You might be a redneck if you've ever written your resume on a cocktail napkin. That's. The wording of those is wrong, though. The way he would always do it is he would say the thing. He would say, if you've ever read, uh, written your resume 
on the back of a cocktail napkin, you might be a red. You might be a red. All right, you know here, I'll reverse it. This is oh, look, the dogs straight are from... okay with me now. Good. This is straight. I've from established Jeff dominance by setting two of their own on fire. <laughs> If you advertise on the inside walls of portable toilets, then you might be a redneck. Uh, there we America. go. That's it. If you ask to open a savings account, the teller says, with what? You might be a redneck. That's actually, that's pretty, that, I like that. <laughs> you, you like that one? If you call your boss dude, then you might be a redneck. No, I call everybody dude. You do? Yeah, it's, I see dude all the time. Dude. Yeah, I guess you do. I say dude a lot. Yeah, I, I, I'm i saying, like, you don't do it like calling people, hey, dude. Oh, It's just oh, more like the way you just Russ, did I'm going to have to kill so many dogs. No, don't. You don't have to. You just got to get out of here, you know? They're... Oh, my God. Well, at least they don't explode. Oh, <gasps> oh, you're on. Oh, you're covered in gasoline. Okay, so you can get set on fire. Jesus. Fuck this. Hard to hit. Just keep running. Just keep running. They're everywhere! Just keep running. They can't... Oh! Whoa. Well, it... I really hope it starts you from having the... So you gotta do all that again? I gotta do all that again. Wait, which way am I going? Yeah, going here, there you right? go. Yeah, that way. If you carry a case of beer to your tax audit, then you might be a redneck. These are just, they're not even jokes. They're just, it's just things. things. It's the thing, if you're a redneck and you hear it, you go, that's me. Or I know a guy like that. That's, that's really all it is. It's that kind of game. I can relate. What happened? Uh, that type of humor. What is it? What's way in the sky above you? Oh, it fell. Yeah, there was a giant explosion. Oh, all right. If you don't Got need dogs, you don't need a clean shirt to go to work. Then you might be a redneck. That's that's all right. That's pretty a true. solid one. Oh, I found I found the trick, Russ. What the fuck? Oh! Turned him into fucking spaghetti meat. Fuck. Oh, they, but they're but they're stopped. You think that these are the ones that come after you later? No. I am not taking any chances. This is absolutely not me living out of fantasy. Why? You didn't even have to bring it up. I wouldn't have thought so. But now that you've said it, I kind of. This game is not anything I've ever thought of doing. None of this. Anything Ooh. I've ever even dreamed of doing. I need you and everybody watching to know, Russ. This game is entirely fiction. Not therapeutic in any way. I'm just doing what's presented. I'm doing what needs to be done. If your wife's job requires, oh! her, <laughs> requires her to wear an orange... I was orange. hoping to distract you with horrible things. <laughs> requires her to wear an orange vest. God. You might be a redneck. What? You get that one? If your wife... If your wife's job requires her to wear an orange vest. Are they saying like, like... a construction worker? If your wife's a construction worker? It's not very woke of him. No. I see plenty of female construction workers. I say, as I rack my brain trying to remember a time when that was I actually did. Maybe in the city, actually. It's more common. I've seen female construction workers yeah. all over. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's more of a city thing. Not so much here. Yeah, around here. Anytime I see, like, the parkway uh, doing a lot of construction, I never see any women. Yeah. And you know what, New Jersey? I got a problem with you over that. Nah, it's no place for a lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I kid, I kid. I'm woke. I hate that phrase. That sounds like somebody ain't woke to me. <laughs> uh, if your co-workers start a petition, 
over the contents of your lunches, then you might be a redneck. Just, I, don't, I, I feel like these are just they can apply to anybody, really. I guess they could. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, coworkers complaining about like microwaving fish in the break room is something yeah. that I don't think would be a redneck thing. I no, just that's just a thing. Yeah. It's just a, like a thing that happens. Um, so I don't know how to get out of here. Uh, came through here. Hey, through there. Uh, Guess we're here. I gotta stop smoking this crap. If every job you've had paid daily, you might, you might uh, be a redneck. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh man! Oh, there's so many dogs. Sounds like somebody's never been to a junkyard. I have. A lot of dogs. I've been. You have? Yeah. You never have? Just for fun? No, actually. Now that I think of it. Yeah, there was a junkyard uh, in Brick. On uh, was? Or still? I I don't know. I, yeah. Hmm. I, well, it's been so long since I've like hung out in Brick. I don't know. Should we go hang out in a junkyard? Well, we did. We actually so me and a couple friends uh, mm -hmm. uh, late one night. On a weekend when they were closed, there was a hole in the fence. The game crashed! Fuck! You gotta keep saving. Oh, God damn it. All I, right. had, I just got out of all of it. Tell your junkyard story. Well, we went to the junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> yes? It's fun. Yeah, it's great. No, you we climb uh, on things. No, we uh, we went to the junkyard and um, because my friend who is a redneck. Oh, okay. Yeah, there could be a few people. The most rednecky friend I have. We shot him with paintballs once. Oh yeah, yeah. About Carlin. Yeah. Um, he uh, he assured me that this would be a great time. So, uh, well, no, we, it actually was. We basically just went to the junkyard. There was a hole in the fence. We we went in and uh, start. We took we took um, giant pieces of metal and started shattering windshields. Oh, that sounds fun. And bashing in cars, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and then I found this giant container that would have been, like, amazing for storing, like, film equipment. Like, a big, hard shell... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...storage container. Hard case. But what I used it for was uh, storing the bread that I used to steal from the local deli. <laughs> <laughs> stealing bread? So, Carlin and I... What are you stealing bread for? We would hang out. <laughs> we would hang out. <laughs> Maybe late at night, you know, playing like GoldenEye, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd get the itch to go like walk around the town. So what we would do is we would walk around the town uh, with like luchador masks on, just being weird. It was like midnight, one, two in the morning, and uh, goddamn dogs! Fuck! And uh, and we were. We were walking past uh, this deli late at night, and we walked behind the building and saw that they had received their shipment of bagels, rolls, uh, just all, all the, just two, three giant boxes, massive boxes of just bread, <laughs> all sorts of as bread. As a bakery would. As a bakery would. Or it wasn't a bakery. It was no, no, not a big deli. Right. Deli, yeah. So a uh, bakery would send it out. So we we picked up one of the boxes. The first time, the first time we did it, we just opened a box, saw that nobody was looking. There was nobody around. It was late at night. We're behind a building, and we just ate a bunch of bagels real quick. We're just that's, like, oh, this is great, free bagels. Yeah, that's fine. So we were like, well, I wonder, you know, big bagel. I wonder how often this happens. So we go there the next day. And it's, they did it again, so it's a daily bread shipment. Um, so we're like, all right, well, let's 
We gotta take this, right? <laughs> so we picked up one of the boxes at about two or three in the morning, and we walked down Drum Point Road with a with the giant box of bread that we stole from a deli. And we got home, and I dumped it all into the storage container that we had uh, we had found and cleaned out, mind you. I was gonna say your junkyard. I cleaned it. Dump storage container. And uh, dumped them all in there. Uh huh. And for a week, we had the tastiest bagels you ever did see or taste. Did or you eat smell. them all? Not all. No, I was gonna say, that's a lot of wasted too many, bagels. Too many. <laughs> we you couldn't have possibly. have a morning, noon, and night. We couldn't possibly have eaten them all. But uh, in the morning, I treated my family to fresh bagels. <laughs> Didn't tell them. We were just like, hey, Carla and I went and got bagels. They're like, oh, you get away. They were just like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Meanwhile, I had a treasure trove <laughs> in my room <laughs> of just dozens, <laughs> dozens and dozens of bagels and Kaiser rolls. and Which deli was it? I assume that the statute of limitations is up on bread theft. Hey. <laughs> you know, I, I, I want to say... I can't remember the name. I can tell you where it was. Where was it? Halfway between where I was and where you were. On Drum Point Road. Oh, oh. Uh, Next to the pizza place. Oh, okay. Never went there. So I don't feel bad at all. Yeah. All right, folks. We got an alternator today. We heard about, about stealing bread and bagels. Have I never told you about the bread? I think you told me, but not in such detail. Okay. I think that's the most that you've told yeah, uh, the the stuff Carlin and I used to do some weird. I believe it. Shit, late at night. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe we'll talk some more about that on the next one because uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more of this. While we go, where are we going? Oh, Clinic. We got. Clinic. Go. I gotta go get. I gotta get, get the things taken off my whatever's going on with me downstairs. I gotta. I gotta go rectify that. Yeah. Well, well, like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to tell us. If you ever committed any crimes that now uh, statute of limitations is up, yeah, make sure make sure it's theft. Actually, tell us about theft. Don't tell us about any other crimes because I'm that's too much for us to handle. Yeah. I can't I can't don't handle. put that on us. Yeah, that's not for us to know. And that's uh, between you and your your god. Yeah, so we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye bye.